by their creators. Unwanted, accepted nowhere. There's only so much you can jam into a blender before you get a mess on your hands. Regardless of what the YouTubes tell you. Let's say you threw some beef, tomatoes, peppers, cheese noodles, herbs, and spices in said blender. Even if your machine could take it, you can't just call the resultant pulp lasagna. It just doesn't work that way. Similarly, you can't just lump together decent combat concepts, several stables of franchise characters, and an intricate weapon system and presume that the result will be a decent RPG. You've just got a jumbled pile of gaming parts. There needs to be some effort to bring these things together, be it baking or a decent story. And frankly, you got a better chance of your PS3 overheating. Why is this? I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna kick your ass! So you've got two of three spatially displaced teenagers, one of whom is a quiet, confused girl, the other is a gun-crazy hothead with a zipper pull that weighs more than the rest of his clothes combined. I'd say stop me if you heard this one, but I've got three more minutes to kill. They wake up in a grove, get attacked by monsters in a very here's the tutorial kind of a way, realize that they're suffering from amnesia, and encounter... Morrigan. Yes, that Morrigan. From Darkstalkers, who's also spatially displaced and suffering from amnesia. TJ's Tips for RPG Writing Dumbasses Special Edition. Amnesia is not interesting. It's why Final Fantasy VIII feels fake as a three zenny refractor. When your party is wandering around all, oh, I can't remember anything, it divorces them from the past. Hell, even fake memories are better than no memories at all. And another thing, this pertains directly to this game and others like it, when you change characters' names seemingly arbitrarily, especially in a very niche game as you have here, leaving the Japanese vocal track in just serves to underline the level of meddling that's gone on. If you're going to pander to the middle in politics or in localization, you lose more from your base than you stand to gain. Full stop. That's all well and good, but you're in total violation of the labor laws, dude! any laws here, and if there were, I'd just break them all! And that's kind of a shame, because the hybrid tactical AP system with mid-fight personnel switches, hyper attacks, and a focus on action economy is exactly what I'd like in RPG combat. Unfortunately, this implementation leaves out a fair deal of information, including the range of your attacks without going through two menus, why in particular you can't use a particular attack, be it insufficient AP, insufficient range, insufficient super hyper shiny points, or any of another number of reasons, what these powers actually do without the aforementioned two menus, or what your items do at all. And while aliasing the end turn, switch, and shift functions to directions on the left analog stick is a really spiffy idea, it doesn't shine through the balance issues, including horrendous accuracy, nor the mechanical problems of the display itself. The combination of sprites and 3D foes not only looks jarring, but get any semblance of a fight going and the frame rate starts making Mega Man 3 look smooth. Let's face it, the basic idea was pretty cool. And who wouldn't want to see Morgan and Etna in the same game? When you're chewing through mountains of plot, or what passes for it in this amnesiac world while slugging through dicey combat where you're lucky to land two hits out of twenty, it's untenable, dude. You can have the finest ingredients and ideas, but without enough batter to hold them together, your okonomiyaki is just a pile of hot cabbage. Cross Edge. It's a pile of hot cabbage. But I have this tingling heat in my bosom, and I like it. Listen to your smutty mouth. <laughs>